Well, when the Patriots and the Rams take the field on Sunday night, Falcons players will be watching. Unfortunately, they'll be doing it from the sidelines. Now, one player in particular knows not only what it feels like to play in the biggest game of the year, but how it feels to face a team like the Patriots. Falcons kicker Matt Bryan and his wife Melissa sat down with me to talk football and family. This is where Matt Bryant wishes he was this week, on a football field, getting ready for Sunday. You hate to be watching it, but you are watching <laughs> right. it, you know, from afar. You'd rather be in there playing it, but uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll be peeking at the TV. At 43, Bryant is one of the oldest players in the NFL. He faced Tom Brady and the Patriots in Super Bowl 51 two years ago in Houston. There's no surprises. They already know how things are going to go because they've done it before. If Bryant is a veteran, so is his wife, Melissa. The couple has seven children, including two sets of twins. My heart went out to the kickers' wives when they were lining up to, to win that NFC championship game. I prayed for her for just a quick second and thought, oh, man, I bet she's on the edge of her seat. Um, it's tough to watch because you know how much preparation these guys have put into these games. The same can be said for the families in the weeks leading up to game day. The logistics of getting all of your family there and hotels and flights and things like that. So you like to take the pressure off of the guys and handle all of those things so that they can just concentrate on their game plan and what their coach needs them to do. I remember washing kids socks in the sink at the Super Bowl because we didn't have a washing machine. So, you know, it's not all glamorous um, and you don't get to see a lot of the guys that week. Um, because they're in meetings, they have practice. Uh, life carries on for them as normal work week. And as abnormal as all the hype is for the Super Bowl, normalcy is what the players and coaches are striving for. I know like whenever we went, uh, Coach Quinn tried to make the week exactly like, you know, like week two of the regular season. So, you know, we, we did the exact same practices that we had like on a Monday, you know, we had a Tuesday off. And then on Wednesday, I mean, everything was exactly the same. He tried to keep it normal. In the end, it all comes down to this. On game day, uh, no matter how many years you've been in it, no matter how old you are or how young you are, it's still the same game. Yeah, still the same game, but you got to be in it, right? <laughs> That's a, That's and the it's big a big thing. one, right? Yeah, so what do they plan to do, um, you know, during the Super Bowl on Sunday? No big parties for them. I mean, they've mm. got seven kids, right? Yeah. So they said uh, they plan a quiet, if you can have quiet with a, that big brood at home watching the game. And they have any predictions for the game? I don't Rooting know about pulling I don't know for about maybe the Patriots <laughs> or the You know Rams. what? Keep in mind mm -hmm. that the Falcons lost to the Patriots mm. in Super Bowl 51, the final score 34 to 28. It was overtime. Um, and Matt says that if he had to pick one team, he'd pick the Rams. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's one reason why he, he knows the coach, Sean McVay, and he also knows some of the yeah. players on the team. So he's going he's gonna to root for them. Yeah. So we talked to him also about uh, the Falcons season because they had a lot of injuries this year and looking ahead. And he says they want to make it to the Super Bowl. We talked about that controversial mm -hmm. no call in the Saints game. All of that, um, all of that stuff you can see on uh, CBS46.com. So kind of an extended interview. Right. We will look for that.